Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Days Gone. Uh, the last one, where did we end? We ended with me trying to get here to the hot springs and failing miserably. Getting so close and then drowning and so on and so forth. But I got here and got my bike here. I got here solely by running because I ditched the bike and they retrieved it for me. A feature I feel like I am going to use all the time in this mode. But now I can give the thunder egg, was it? To this one. This woman here. The girl I saved. That one. That person. Who isn't here. Lisa, I go away. Brush yourself. That's beautiful. Will you take me with you? Take me back to Marion Forks. Look, I, I can't because it's not safe. I gotta turn in. They make us get up really early for work. Alright, so that's that done. I travelled this entire distance just for that little conversation. But as I've said previously, that's pretty much a staple for this game, I think. You... Uh, 1.7 kilometers. Where am I going? Where am I going? I'm going back to... Watchtower. Cool. If you hear any voices, like the small voices in the background, uh, my family came home like 10 minutes ago and they're just talking in the other room. So that's what that is. Or it could be the voices in your head. You never know. I'm not a psychiatrist. Seek help. Hey man. Cool. Hey, so I got my bike back. I did. Hang on, let me check. I did put the. Yes. That's what I like to see. Hundred percent. Let me get the gate for you. Ah, oh, thank you. I, I'm going to be using this survival vision quite a bit now when I drive. Now that I know it brings. Oh yeah, yeah she was thrilled. Made her day. I bet. I suppose that's kind of cheating, though, in a way. Bringing the HUD up every five minutes to drive. But I might just use it when I come to turning off. Like to fork some of those and so on. Some shit. Oh, loose man. Yes, yes. Uh, always need more shit. Thanks, brother. Deacon out. And to check petrol, uh, fuel capacity. This game got a lot of criticism at launch, but. I quite enjoyed it. thought it was really good. Uh, could be because I played Anthem before that. And I thought that was really bad. going to reply? They just do a job for you. And then that's it. So many lovely tunnels here. Hey 
Hey. I've been, like I've gone through in this walkthrough so far that could just have been avoided if I only realised that was a thing. Like you could bring the HUD up temporarily. And the mini-map too. Yeah, this game just became a whole lot easier. That will help me, because I know there are some scenes in this where it's like scripted scenes, like there's a few when you have to like move area and you go further down the map that you don't have a petrol gauge, like a petrol gauge appear on the hub. So that means you can just keep driving full out without worrying of running out of petrol or anything. Uh, scenes like that, well, you know, I can't quite, I can't quite remember where they are. So it'll be nice just to get the HUD up temporarily, just to see. So I'm not coasting or taking unnecessarily long detours, like a long amount of time to drive, when I could just flat out hit the engine. I'm just ranting now. Going off on a tangent. Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. I know, I was... Well, hold on, hold on. No, I'm alright, I'm alright. Just... I'm trying to get clear, you know? You're burning you know? up. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Think, Deacon, think. If there was an award for loading times, this game would win. Yeah, Back. Yeah, found it. All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula and Gustafolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loan, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you can call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth, go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hand. All right, so you wanna put one hand around the flower, All right. and then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. Yeah, I pulled weeds before. Excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. But apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go. That's perfect. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those, and I'm going to collect more. <laughs> so, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that... That is so... Oh, my... Thank you, Einstein. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with the farms about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. Well, at least not me. Yeah? 
It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. Until it is. Hey, there's more over here. Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? It's a long story. Well, that's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. So, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer. Wow, look at you. Being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers. One fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> no, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You'd like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10. I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? Okay, you try picking some now. Lavender. You, you want me to pick lavender? Yep. And bring me three plants and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush him. <laughs> I don't really have a green thumb, but I'll try my best. Uh, got one. Good for you. And if I did have a green thumb, I'd get it seen to immediately. This one? Yep, keep going. Last one. Great, bring him here. Oh, Good for you. <laughs> wow, gallantry is alive and farewell after all. Oh, if it's <laughs> not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey, oh, 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 oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're going to smoke later? No, but this is the one we're going to drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, if you come over, then I will make it for you as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're going to be a believer. And we'll grab a beer from myself on the way over. <laughs> Alright, let's go find some lavender. With my full tank of gas. Gasoline. St. John. Copeland to Deacon St. John. We got a job for you. Hey, Copeland. Okay. Yeah, I'll stop by when I can. Deacon out. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm a little out of it. Would you say something? It's, uh, it's something Sarah showed me a few summers ago before... Yeah, Ooh. anyway, uh, there's a plant that grows out here called lavender. It grows in the shade, along rivers, lake shores. I'm gonna see if I can find some. Shit, brother. The way my arm's feeling, I'll try anything, but... Fuck, the lavender brings something I can smell, man. Whatever, I'm gonna find some of this shit, I'm gonna make a burn sap out of it, and you're gonna shut the hell up about it. Yeah, okay. 
sorry, brother. Just stir crazy up here, you know. Don't worry, news man. We're riding north, I swear to God, not too much longer. You hear me? Yeah, now. I'm getting a bit better with the gun. The gun play in the game. Okay, there you go, third one. And drive back to, yeah, return to Boozer. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot more confident now driving. Uh, I also don't have to keep swiping my uh, finger, like my thumb, across the touchpad to keep checking the map, which is nice. Like that. But it is a habit I kind of gotten into, so I'm going to try and stop that. Just keep hitting R3 instead. I was hoping, yeah, it would be nice if they added a feature to the game. Where you can sort of build a map, maybe. I don't have to check it instead of opening a one up, sort of like that. If there was something you could like unfurl in your hand when you drive, like you know, or something, something, you know, you could just, I don't know what I'm doing, like a sat nav, maybe you could find in the game, the, and then you can just pin it onto the handlebar or something, and then that will create a HUD, but that'll create like a sort of uh, map when you're driving. But you have to go out and find it or build it. If you know what I mean. Well, that would have been a nice little feature for survival mode. Like new new ideas added to the game. That would be nice. Considering this mode wasn't in the game at launch. Uh, I think it's something that's added on. Uh, you know, that would have would have been nice to have a few extra stuff. Hey, Boozer. Uh, God damn it! Uh, it's a funny thing. I, I was remembering how uh, a few summers back, Sarah took me out to Bear Creek. We were picking lavender, and uh, she, ta <laughs> she taught me. 
She taught me how to make this sap for burns and, uh... Look, I got out today. Okay? I actually had a look around the mound. I cleared some traps. The arm's almost as good as new. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna leave her right here. Hey, hey, just give me a couple days. Okay? Just we'll ride up north like you said and get out of this shithole. Sure. Yeah. He's my brother. New skill point. How many of those have I got now? I've got a few. Four. Eh, I got a few. Endurance. Hard hitter. Increases the damage both crafted and found. Cool. I'll have that. Uh, talk shit. Get hit. Ability to form long. Cool. I'll have that as well. My uh, ammo skills. My gun plays might be getting better. But it's always good to get a bit better with melee weapons. Now what's this? Fight and flight. Move and uh, cool. That'll come in handy too. Skill tier 2 unlocked. Crowd control reduces the cooldown of focus. Suppressing fire. When in focus, ranged weapons will have an increased power to stop weaker enemies. Uh, improves the initial recovery and duration of focus cocktail. I'll go with crowd control. Press R3 to activate focus. Your focus cooldown is now reduced. E. I'm all upgraded. My upgraded deacon. Yeah, I'm here. What's up? We got hit. And hard. Rippers. A couple of dozen, maybe more. Goddamn rippers. That little gal you were so worried about? Yeah, Lisa. Wait, hold on. What happened? Where's Lisa? Gone. They took her and three others. Alki followed him as far as he could. But they're holed up at Bell Lab Crater. He came back to round up more men, but... God damn it! Okay, look, I've seen what those sons of bitches do to hostages. I'm not waiting. Just going to top up the bike, because I realized I jumped out earlier to get the lavender. Didn't top it up. I have to get out to that little habit. Forty percent too. I wouldn't have gotten very far. Done. Now, where am I going? Where am I going? I'm going to there. What have they done? Rescue Lisa from the Rippers. Shall do. So, from like I was saying earlier, um, I say earlier, probably a few episodes back, a lot of the good stuff doesn't really come into it until later. Like, even bike aesthetics. Like, you have to sort of build up credit before you can get those. Because uh, I kind of, I kind of personally focus on the upgrades before anything else for the bike. Even guns. I don't even. Like, I f my first playthrough, I focus more on guns. And I'm, I feel like I suffered for it. But focusing on the bike means you can get places easier, faster, less of that crap when you have to like walk the bike around. Because you can just scavenge guns from rippers and other scavengers. Bandits, that's the word. You don't really, but the bike, yeah, the bike is what's important. 
I know that now. Didn't know that before. Okay, how do I get over there? Do I go around here? Maybe? Yes. Yes, I do. Crawl out through the fallout, baby. That's what this game is missing, actually. Uh, no, it doesn't make sense. Well, like, actually, no, it does, because he's playing a radio, Copeland. The game should have an in-game radio. We are driving around, you can listen to music. Big old fun gunfight coming up here. What's this? Quite a long gunfight, if I recall. You sure as hell don't belong to a goddamn river. It's not footprints. Girl size. It's gotta be Lisa. She was dragged through here. Get low, motherfucker. And I actually got my headset on the right way now. Then I didn't before for the first few uh, episodes, so I can tell where enemies are coming from because I'm putting them sound gameplay sound through my uh, headset. So before, when they were coming at me from the left, I was hearing them in my right ear, which kind of put me off a little. But now it's a lot easier, a lot better. They're just getting low. Get low. Jesus. What the hell is wrong with you? Hello? Can I help you lads with anything? Free rule the world, huh? I guess not. Not if they're all dead. No, she's not in here. Where are you, Lisa? She's gotta be out here somewhere. No one is joining you! Look, you're found, yeah? I put a lot of good bullets in that guy. Oh, shit. I activated focus then, just to get a really good slow motion capture of Deacon reloading his gun. That's all I got out of it. Hey! No, I don't want- okay, bandage, that's fine. That ripper's in a nice little plaid shirt. Right through the neck. Oh god, whoa. That took a drastic U-turn. I'm just going for headshots a lot more than I used to. And I'm actually hitting them. So I'm, I think I'm getting used to the whole uh, over-the-shoulder over camera. 
here. They dragged her up here. Bat and I've been playing a lot of PUBG lately, so that's probably fucking around Places with my aim. Because you can switch from first person to third. I'm coming, kid. Where? What? what who, was that? Where's that coming from? I heard something. No idea where from. We all know. They keep getting back up. Oh, come on! How was I supposed to guess that? He kept getting back up. Up for five, six rounds into the guy. He kept getting back up. Most people stay down after one shot. Well, most people in real life, but yeah. Up here. They dragged her up here. Lisa's has gotta be out there. I'm coming, kid. Yeah, just a reminder, really, that was of the value of headshots in the game. Okay, chase this guy. Because he ran off somewhere. Get low! I don't like the sound he made when I shot. Oh, come on! Shot through his friend. Three shots, though. I must not have had that much health. I should have survived a bit. I've survived more than that. I've survived, like, a sniper round. So I should have survived that. Uh, peculiar. They dragged her up here. Alright. I should get through this in this episode. I got about 20 minutes on my timer, on my clock. So, pick up things. Oh, that's why I got next to no health. It makes all it all makes sense now. What's a health cocktail? I'm coming, kid. Medkit would heal you fully. Bandages part way. I wonder what the cocktail does. Does it increase your health, maybe? Hey, he hit him. Come on, come on. Now a lot of ammo left. How many of these guys are there? Scavenge through the bodies. Cooking ammo, it seems. Yeah. Uh, ammo and scrap. Anything will do.
Uh, I feel like that was an easier way of doing it. Cutting away your sorrow and past. Boom! Right Lisa. through the skull. All right, Lisa. Oh, Jesus, what have we done to you? Lisa. Lisa? Hey. Sweetheart. No! Hey, hey, no! hey, shut up, shut up! Lisa, it's me, it's Deacon, remember? Deacon? Okay, all right. That's all right, it's all right, come on. You okay? Damn it, can you run? Do you know where the visitor center is? All right, that's where my bike is. I need you to run air as fast as you can. Don't stop. Don't stop. All right, don't stop, no matter what. You ready? Huh? Go. Is she following me? Yeah, if she's following me, why did I tell her to run to the bike? I could just take her to the bike. Which is what I'm doing. Lisa, run. Uh, they aren't very bright. Freedom! Not quite. Not quite. Almost freedom. Oh, he's running at me. Get to my bike. Run. Just get on the bike. There we go. We're safe now. Are you okay? No. Listen to me. To the south of here, there's a camp at Lost Lake. It's nothing like the Hot Springs. Iron Mike, he's not like Mrs. Tucker. I hated Mrs. Tucker. <laughs> no, you wouldn't be alone there. This is a nice camp, and it's a safe place. Okay. Hold on. Ricky! Ricky, come back! Ricky, are you still on this channel? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deacon? Long time no here. What do you want? Just... Meet me, okay, on the Cascade Highway where it intersects with the old Belknap Road. I'm heading there now. You know what Iron Mike said? The night you and Booze rode out of here? Uh, oh yeah, that. Uh, listen, that's why I radioed you and not Schizo. Iron Mike doesn't even have to know about this. I got a kid here. What? Well, I mean, not a kid, uh, a survivor. She's been out here a long time. A, you've got a survivor, and you're bringing her to Lost Lake. No, you're bringing her to Lost Lake. I'm bringing her to you. Ricky, you there? Yeah, okay. okay. I'm on my way. Lost Lake out. Ricky? Uh, yeah, okay. You're welcome. He's, uh, uh, he likes to yell a lot. Look, don't let him bother you. You got that? Uh, anyway, there's this guy named Schizo. If he bothers you at all, well, just tell Ricky. Or, uh, tell Addie. She's the camp's doctor. You tell her, and 
Addie's, she's good. She's got medicine, you know, to clean up those, uh, to clean up those cuts. I mean, you don't want to get infected. They're gonna help you out, kid. You can count on them, even if you, uh, you know, even if you screw up. All right. He's given her some good life advice. Some good life advice. Hey, Ricky. Hey, Deke. I'm surprised. What, did Tucker give up the slave trade? Uh, Lisa, this is uh, Ricky. She's going to uh, take you to a safe place. Nothing has changed, Deke. Iron Mike is not going to pay you for this. Pay me for, oh, come on. That's not, excuse me. That's not what this is about. It's not about collecting a bounty or anything. You just, mm -hmm. you just take her. Huh? What's wrong with her, Deke? What's wrong with her? She was, had to run in with some rippers. I had to. Hey, Lisa. Hi, I'm Ricky. Listen, do you like to go fishing? I love fishing. It's, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Would you want to go fishing with me? Yeah? Come on, I'm going to tell you about Lost Lake. It has the clearest water you have ever seen. And the fish, oh my god. The fish in the morning, they jump this high. I'll show you. When we go, we're gonna have such a good time. Make sure you hold on tight, okay? Ready? I really appreciate it. So, that was that. Hot Springs, 1,000 trust, even though I didn't bring the girl back to them. You're safe now. Halfway through. What's this? No one saw it coming. No one saw it coming. The world comes for you. Okay, I'll drive there, and I'm probably going to have to end this video there, I think. When I arrive at uh, the Overwatch, Overlook. Oh, I couldn't tell the particle effects. I thought that was a fire. Almost there. Almost. No, and yeah, I do like that every now and then you can just like open up on the bike a bit instead of having to rev the engine for a second and drift. Hot springs to take and save John. It's always fun. Parker, I'm here. I expected you back by now. Did you find the girl, Lisa? Oi! Fuck you, Tucker! Fuck you, Tuck! Thought that was going to end a cutscene or something, but nope, never mind.
There might be a cutscene up here. Maybe. Not. Well, I'm going to call the video to an end here. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a like to let me know you like the video. Obviously, quite self-explanatory, that part. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you think of the game, uh, my commentary, and if there's anything you s maybe want me to talk about, I'll make a note of it and try and get to it in the later video. And subscribe to keep up to date with all the other releases uh, that will be on my channel. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Bye now.